welcome back to another vlog. I'm finally getting around to actually speaking in this vlog. I literally just didn't really have a voice this morning. Not in the fact that I've like lost my voice, but just I feel like when I wake up, my voice just really isn't there. So I didn't want to talk without having my proper voice. Welcome anybody who's new who might have just joined and clicked on this video. Thanks so much for clicking on it. Today is just going to be like a normal vlog, you guys know. That's basically all I do at the minute. It seems like you guys seem to enjoy the vlog. So that's sort of what I've stuck with. And to be honest, I'm really stuck with like what other content to film. So I think vlogs is sort of like my go-to at the minute. I'm actually going to get my nails done today. So these grubby nails will not feature for the rest of the vlog. I will have some nice nails, honestly. Hate having short nails and no acrylics because I don't know if anybody else does this. But I'm such an anxious like nail biter and I'll like bite the skin around my nails. I've really tried not to bite them because I knew I was getting my nails done. Yeah, let me know in the comment section if you're an anxious nail biter like myself because it's actually a bit of a problem. I'm going to someone new today. Obviously, we've only just recently moved to Manchester. So we are trying out like different places to go and see where's the best. Back in the car now, I actually haven't vlogged whilst being in the car because as soon as we got here, we just went straight in and as you've seen, I did just get my nails done. I absolutely love them. They're so cute. I'll actually put the picture on the screen of what the original picture looked like because I did actually change the original picture up a little bit. The original picture was blue and this finger and like the other fingers that did have the hearts were full colour, but I didn't want that because I weren't about to be having a full colour of red. It's just not for me. It's absolutely freezing. I always get really cold when I get my nails done. I think it's just because I'm obviously just sat around, like nothing is like really like happening sort of thing. And I just get really cold. So I've now got the heating on full blast in the car. I am in a courtesy car at the minute, by the way, guys. I feel like people who watch my channel for a while will realize that this is not my car. I think as well from the fact that it's red on the side. I have a courtesy car at the minute because my car is back in the garage. Shock, it's broken as always. We're now gonna go back to the apartment and give the apartment a good old tidy, have some food, and then I've got some other stuff to do. I need to be my counter, but again, it's half past three and I've not rang up. And by the time it gets set four o'clock, I feel like they'll be going home. So we're gonna have to do that tomorrow. So that is a must on tomorrow's to do list. So I cannot forget. So, we've just got back from obviously the drive and having our nails done, and we've just gone ahead and picked up loads of parcels. So currently covering obviously our address, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these out in a second. So we're actually gonna make a spag ball for tea, and then we've got the really joyous task of tidying the rest of the flat. Okay, so I'm now gonna go ahead and tackle my bed as obviously I need to put my sheets on it. My mattress protector is actually in the wash. It's still drying, so I think for now, I'm just gonna put everything on. And I know it's gonna be a pain to take everything back off and put it back on again, but just in case the mattress topper isn't dry, I wanna make sure that my bed is made so I can get in it later. The stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder Honestly, so excited to eat this. I'm so great. A little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's grey outside? It really makes me wonder. The 
Until winter comes Until winter comes Until winter comes It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder Midway through me filming, me cleaning, but you will have seen that I obviously cleaned our fridge and also our freezer, and I made it a lot more organised. It was a little bit of a mess. I got rid of food that had gone out of date, so obviously we'd been home at the weekend, and then we've just like ordered food for the past few days, so we haven't actually like been in the fridge. So there's quite a fair bit of stuff that we needed to throw away. And um, then I actually went ahead and changed some of the cupboards around because basically we have a little bit of like a shelf up here which had nothing in it so I decided to put all of like our like medical stuff like first aid kit, paracetamol, thermometer, all that jazz up here just because that doesn't take up a lot of space and then I can use this top shelf up here for something better you feel me um, and then I also went ahead and moved these bottom drawers around so originally in the top of here was some like pots not pots as in like pots and pans but pots as in like Tupperware boxes um, and then we had the cleaning stuff in this bit so I actually swapped them around and I put the tubs in there and then I put the cleaning things in there because we've got bags down there so I feel like that just made a little bit more sense to me like every time we would go in there I would just see cleaning stuff as well as like normal pots and pans so for a while I'd wanted to switch that around and then I've just washed up some little bits here so they're just gonna dry and then they'll go away with the rest of the Tupperware and we also have the dishwasher on the dishwasher's still got an hour and 30 minutes left, so I'm waiting for that. And I'm obviously still waiting for my bed sheets to dry. I think it has just finished. So, kind of perfect time, really, to see if these are dry. They are not. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna dry much more in there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take them out, and I'm gonna hang them up on our clothes area. I feel like my bed, can't tell if it's dry or if it's wet. Do you know what I mean? You know when things come out of the tumble dryer and they feel like warm, it makes them sometimes feel wet when they're not wet. So I guess we will see, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hang this up, like I say, on the clothes area so that then I can fold it away and put it away after. But yeah, that one's definitely still wet. Today, a lot of my to-do list was like cleaning because like I say, we were away for the weekend and the flat was just so messy and there's just stuff absolutely everywhere that we need to put away. But I've got a pile of clothes over here that I do need to put away. I've got a random hairdryer on the floor. I've just literally got bits and bobs everywhere that need to be put in the right places. I've also got some clothes that I need to try on. I still need to unpack from being at home as well. So that is my task for today. I think I am actually gonna carry this vlog on to tomorrow as well, just cause I feel like I'll be doing a lot tomorrow. Harvey's also coming tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. We're actually going to Leeds on Saturday for a meal with two of our best friends. Okay, so I've actually just gone ahead and taken my pin board off of this wall here because I really didn't like where it was. Like it was sort of like covered by my curtain, as you can see. So what I think I'm actually gonna do is stick this on this wall over here. So I actually just need to go ahead and pull these off. Now I'm really hoping that this doesn't ruin my wall. I guess we will find out together. Um, I don't know how you pull these out. I'm guessing just like this. <gasps> that is cool. Is that gonna twang at me? I feel like it was gonna twang. You know, like an elastic band. Is that gonna twang? I feel like it's gonna twang. I'm scared. Ow, yes, I knew it was gonna twang, but I can confirm that there is no marks there whatsoever. So if you live in a rented apartment or a rented accommodation, anything like that, use command strips because they actually do work. And I actually obviously have these ones on the back already. So I just need to go get two more and then stick them. I basically have to stick them onto the back of here and press it up against the wall. So I've already gone ahead and stuck this one on. Then on the other side, basically, it's a little bit like Velcro in the sense that it just sticks together. So all you have to do is push this on here 
and then stick it together just like that and then this little film here this is so hard to do with acrylics so literally just peels away like so and then this little part here is really sticky now i'm gonna go ahead and take this and stick it up on that wall and just like that it is stuck to the wall i feel like it looks like it's wonky from here but it isn't it's just the way that my mirror is up it is pretty darn straight if i do say so for myself okay so just a little update guys i've moved my mirror over here and i've moved my drawers over here i'm gonna put my mirror up on the wall i'm really hoping these four command strips will hold the weight of the mirror I guess we'll find out in some time the command strips need to stick on here for an hour before i can reattach it then then I have my little, what's this thing called? Pin board. I have that next to it, which I've actually just put some necklaces on. So yeah, that is what this area sort of looks like. It is actually okay, because when I open this door, we can still get through. Obviously, I've got loads of parcels here at the moment, so they're sort of a bit of a nuisance, but you can still get into my room and everything okay. And then I just still need to sort out this mess that is on my bed but i really like how my mirror looks here i feel like i can get such better like instagram pictures i just feel like it looks better here it's gonna be a trial and error i might not like it this way like i might realize after a while that i don't like it i feel like i just need to live with it this way for a little bit to see if i do like it or not because i do feel like it does look a bit weird with these drawers being here because obviously the doors there i feel like they maybe did look better over there but then i'm thinking for like practicality of using the mirror it might be better over there. I also went ahead and stuck some hooks on the wall so we can have somewhere to store our coat. Hopefully this does hold the weight of each coat. I guess we'll see in the morning if they've all fallen down, but they have been stuck up there for an hour. So they have been stuck for enough time to have their full amount of grip. So it's just whether they can hold the weight. Yeah, this is what my evening has consisted of. Basically just cleaning and getting my shit together. Okay, so it's the next day now. I just got off the phone with my accountant. Please ignore my hair. that she not brushed it today. <laughs> not gonna lie, it is literally a mess. I'm just gonna in it like a clip so it's out of my face. But I'll give you a little update on what my room looks like. I put my clothes where I unpacked and stuff and I just moved everything around yesterday as you will have seen. And now I'm a bit undecided of what I wanna do like next with my room. Like I feel like my room looks a lot better this way and I think I like it more because like I feel like there's a lot more space, especially in this corner where this mirror is now. Because when my drawers were there, I feel like it's sort of like blocked the walk space, if that makes sense. You'll see what I mean when I turn it around. But I feel like it's just very like plain in here. I feel like I need to add something to make it not so plain, but I don't know what I want to add. I was thinking about LED lights, but then I'm a bit like, I don't really know where to put them. Like, I don't know whether to put them all around my room or if to just put them in like one area. Or then I was thinking maybe fairy light, but I really can't decide because I obviously have bedside lamps now and I never used to have bedside lamps because I never had bedside tables, but obviously I have them here. So I am a little bit confused and stuck with what to do. So if you guys have any ideas, please do let me know and leave them down below. I have looked at like pinch interest and stuff but I just can't really seem to find anything that sort of like fits my vibe. This is obviously the door and now originally my mirror used to be here, the really tall one as you'll have seen yesterday but I've got a little pin board on here, I've just put some necklaces on there. I've got my mirror up on the wall now, it does in fact stay so that is great and then we've got my drawers so I was thinking maybe I could put like some LED lights up here and then I don't know if I'm gonna vibe with that, I don't know if that's just gonna look weird but I also can't really get it like all around my room because it comes in and out in so many different places. And I'm also like, where do I plug it in, you know? But I could do it like up here and around to like, I don't know, I feel like I could do it all the way around, but maybe just not over the wardrobe and maybe not on this wall. I don't know. But then we have like my bed area. Then I've got my big mirror here. So as you can see, we have a lot more walk space now like i feel like it opens the room up quite a bit and i feel like it's a really good spot for taking pictures like there's a lot of light and then when you look you can see like a lot of my room whereas like when it was over this way even though there obviously is light the light comes from behind but in the meantime i am going to continue to like look on pinterest and stuff i've pretty much done all of my to-do list the only things i've got left on my to-do list is to do like my washing which i will do shortly i've sort of got no rush to do that and then i also need to pack 
up some parcels to return but Harvey's actually bringing the returns labels for them so I actually don't need to do that today. I actually thought I was going to have a lot more to do today but I think I got so much done last night that I've kind of left myself with not a lot to do today which is great but I am actually going to go ahead and make another intro. I made my Christmas intro last night. I absolutely love it. I'm so excited for you guys to see it um, but I think I'm going to make a different one for my vlogs because every year I have the same style of intro for my vlogmas and everybody seems to love it. So when I posted that I'd made a new intro, I was like, everyone's going to think it's that, but it's not that. My Christmas intro is a different intro to like my vlogmas intro. So I think I am going to do the two separate because I was just going to leave them both the same and just use like my normal intro. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do like a proper Vlogmas style intro like I normally do, where it's like a collage of, a collage? Would you call it a collage? A montage of loads of different clips from previous Vlogmas years. And I just, I just feel like that's always been what I've done. And obviously, and it's like, even though I post my Vlogmases on my main channel now, rather than my second channel, which by the way, I do still have my second channel. So if you ever are wondering where my Vlogmas is, like I always talk about Vlogmas, but there's only like four videos on this channel. They're on my second channel, Jasmine Clough Vlogs, if you wanna go and check them out and you'll see the type of Vlogmas intro that I mean. It's basically just a montage of different clips from previous parts of my vlogmas throughout the years so I do love that because it's just like a little look back on the previous years and then obviously this year's will then go into next year's and it just sort of like carries on so yeah I think that's what I'm going to go to for the rest of the day I probably watch some more Grey's Anatomy because you guys know I'm obsessed I literally mentioned it earlier and I probably will end and I probably will edit this vlog at some point as well. So yeah, it's kind of just like a boring day of work and doing nothing. Um, it's a bit gloomy outside though, so I don't really wanna go out. I don't need to go to town or anything anyway. So yeah, I guess I'll check back in with you guys in a short while. Maybe if I brainstorm some more ideas of what I can do in my room. I think I do wanna get a like, picture to go up here, but I don't know what, so. Yeah, so I have just made myself some tea. Well, making myself some tea. I'm just gonna have wedges tonight. I don't actually have that much food in, but I'm going out for tea tomorrow night, so there's not a point buying anything. And then Sunday, I'll probably be hungover, so I'll probably order something again. So, food shop probably on Monday. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and have some of these wedges. They've got salt, pepper, and five spice salt, seasoning pepper, on them. Scooby -dooby -dooby -dooby. The boys go, the girls go. Ooh. So, our wedges are done. It looks like a really big plate of wedges. We're gonna have some mayo and maybe some perronaise just to switch it up. And let's, yeah, I've got some hands on cheese in there as well for a little bit of cheesiness. Well guys, I absolutely demolished them. They were delicious. Sophie actually had a few of them. I think she had two. Um, so I actually did eat them all pretty much myself. But like I said, they were delicious. And I'm really full now, so I feel like it's gonna fill up for the rest of the night. Sophie's gone ahead and stuck Pretty Woman on. Her boyfriend's in the shower, so yeah. I'm probably going to go ahead and start editing this vlog now. Well, in a bit. Um, so I think I'm going to end the vlog here. If you have enjoyed, please always remember to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for Vlogmas really, really soon. It's literally going to be coming in like two weeks' time. So if you love vlogs, stick around for my Vlogmas. And if you want to watch any previous Vlogmas of mine, I'll link it down below in the description box because I don't know about anyone else, but I love watching Vlogmas from like previous years before the New Year's start. You feel me? So, yeah, that is everything.